Hey guys, I'm Tim with Original Strength, and recently I wrote a blog about being able to sit in the squat uh, as a being a good indication of whether or not you have your reflexive strength. And if you don't read my blog or you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link to that in the uh, notes section of this uh, video. But so the gist of it is though, is if you can sit in a squat, there's a good chance that you have your reflexive strength. Now, I got a letter about uh, that particular blog because I there are people that can sit into a squat and maybe they have their reflexive strength, but when it comes to getting out of the squat, they need help. Maybe they have to put their hands on the floor to, to stand up or maybe they have to pull up on a, a door frame or a chair or something to help them get out of the squat. There is a difference um, between having reflexive strength and, and, and then having strength. And you can absolutely have reflexive strength, but not necessarily have a lot of strength on top of that reflexive strength. Um, and, and, and in those cases, it could be that, yes, you can sit in a squat, but maybe you do need help uh, getting up out of a squat. And another way to look at that is, if I'm doing a push-up and everything fires together, my center comes up with me and fires as I push, probably a good chance that I've got my reflexive strength. However, if I were to try to push up and this happened, my belly didn't come off the floor at the same time I pushed and then it came up later, that would be an indication that I don't have my reflexive strength. And there are some people that as soon as they push, they fire, but they get here and they, they just don't have the strength to get up. So you absolutely can have reflexive strength, but then not necessarily have strength on top of that. Um, so what do you do? You do just like you did when you were younger if you want to increase your strength. Once you have your foundation of reflexive strength, the way you get stronger is you engage in the things you want to get stronger in. So just like when you were a child, when you were getting up off the floor, when you learned how to stand, maybe you did put your hands on the floor and the butt went up and then you started to stand or maybe you did grab up on a chair or your mom and dad's lap and you started pulling yourself up but you did this over and over day in day out until eventually it just got easier easier and easier till you could just say and you can stand um, same thing with the push-up you find ways to push until it just gets easier and easier and easier and it's a progression it, it may take a while but that's okay because it works, and that's how you did it to start with, and that's how you can do it at whatever age you are now. Um, so there, just the whole point of this is, is you can have your reflexive strength and lack strength on top of that, and that is not a bad place to be. I don't think it's a great place to be that if you actually have strength in certain areas, but don't have your reflexive strength. Again, and that sounds weird, right? But there are people that can push up right but they don't have their reflexive strength um, it's way better in my opinion to to own this but not own this um, if that makes any sense at all your reflexive strength is your foundation it sets you up for great mobility great health great movement great strength expression um, you don't want that lacking you can be strong on top of uh, a body that does not have a solid foundation of reflexive strength but typically that can open up the door for a uh, higher risk of injury or just not even feeling good, not moving well, having aches and pains. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I'll put that blog on, on the notes section in this video. And that's our tip for this week or just an explanation of having reflexive strength but maybe lacking strength on top of it. All right, I'm Tim with Original Strength and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please share it with your friends, your neighbors, your dogs, and your cats. Thanks again.